Welcome back to the NKU Norse. I have exciting news today. We just signed our first five star in school history and he's an absolute beast. He's 6'5", 234, built like Derrick Henry. We're gonna be using him at running back because he has 88 speed and 93 excel. Additionally, we are sitting at number one in our conference standing still. It's us and Old Dominion sitting at the top and our rivals, Western Kentucky, lost again. We're playing at home today against FIU and we're on a seven game home winning streak. So it's crucial we win this game today. They also came out with the award semifinalists Mason Bean is sitting at number four in the Maxwell, number seven in the Walter Camp, and then Ryan Clayton's number six in the Bednarik. Mason Bean is seventh in the O'Brien, and Ryan Clayton is ninth for best linebacker. Jamari Brown is number one for best returner again, and I'm hoping our program can snag some awards. Right now, we're sitting at number 32 in the country. We're looking to get some revenge on FIU this season because last season this happened. It looks like they're coming out though and just throwing up the Hail Mary. We should be good. Yeah, they are. Jamari Brown, why don't you pick it off? No way he caught that. They're gonna kick a field goal for the win. I still don't know how they made that catch, but look at this. They're pressing Tony Hines on the first play. So you know we gotta take that. And he caught it and fumbled. Of course, that's how our games always start. I just don't get it. Why do we have the most unlucky starts possible? Like you didn't even get to settle into the game for a second. I've already gotten a fumble for our team. Now their QB's taken off. Ryan Clayton can't make the tackle. And my goodness, this already feels like a long game. Trayvon Faulkner misses the tackle. Ryan Clayton can't make the tackle again. I cannot deal with this stuff right now. They got me with the play action. Ryan Clayton, make the tackle. Someone, please. That is literally the third tackle I've made with Ryan Clayton that they've broken off. Oh, well, they're just handing this ball off again. And somehow they're getting a big run. All right, defense. Not a stop, of course. That wasn't even good defense. I can't really complain. I've got to say, that start was not ideal. I thought we made a good read. We're hitting Daquan Green here. And they're pressing Tony Hines again. He's got the speed, but he can't beat the press. What a throw Ooh. by Mason Bean. And we fumbled again. I cannot believe we fumbled twice already. Come on, Robert Burns. Let's get something going on the running side. And here we go. Third and seven. Adrian Nelson. Good separation. I like that, buddy. Good thing he's playing well. I'm glad he was able to come down, catch that ball. We're throwing a dot to Bryce Oliver. And Mason Bean is off to a solid start after he's had a rough few weeks. All right. I kind of want to just throw the drag, but I couldn't get the throw off. And now we're here on a third and 20. That's a pick probably. Ooh. Adrian Nelson somehow catches it and he fumbles. How did he fumble? That's three fumbles off catches in the first quarter. You can't tell me this isn't Heisman cheese just trying to make me lose. For some reason, the last games of the season in NCAA Football 14 are always tough like this, but we can't let that stop us from playing to our best ability. Trayvon Faulkner, bring him down. I'm gonna send a little blitz in too. Come on. And it didn't work. Somehow they're just running. No, Hargrove, you've got to make that tackle. I don't get how they're running up the middle on this set right here. We got five down linemen. All right. They threw right at my user. We have a ton of people in the box right here. So now they want to pass it. And that's a touchdown. Hopefully our receivers can actually hold on to the ball in this next drive. They're pressing Tony Hines again. And he's open. I'm gonna throw it. He dropped it. You cannot make this stuff up, man. This game is cheating me so hard right now. All right, man-to-man -man coverage. Bryce Oliver normally burns that. The C route did not do the trick there, but you're gonna press Bryce Oliver. Surely he'll beat the coverage. He doesn't, but we do have the open wide receiver into Quan Green. This game's been all over the place so far. I gotta say, it really has, but I honestly feel like I'm getting cheated with all these drop passes and fumbles. I've never seen it happen at this rate before. Nick Ojanovic, the big tight end is open, but look deep. What a bad throw. Are you kidding me? You cannot make this up. I was trying to throw a bullet pass there. It didn't give me the bullet pass. Now we're throwing underneath the Bryce Oliver, fourth and three. We have got to pick up the first down here. And I'll throw it to Robert Burns. Why did he lob it? I literally held down the button to throw a bullet pass. Whatever. That's two plays on that drive that should have been easy completions. Now we're sitting here on defense trying not to go down 21-0. All right, third and four. The drag's open. I didn't play good defense. No way. How did he catch that and break the tackle? Oh my gosh. I can't believe the start of this game. It is 21 to zero. This is the best team I've played all season and I'm being dead serious when I say that. Nobody's played great defense like this. Tony Hines, you got the speed and he drops it. No, you literally cannot make this stuff up. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do besides deliver dots to Daquan Green. You know what, maybe we need to run the ball against them. Passing the ball is not going well. Come on, Mason Bean. 
Oh, this pitch is going to be nasty. Let's go, Tony Hines. Woo! What a move. That's literally the trick. We just need to start running the ball. I couldn't tell you why FIU's defense is this great against the pass, but when it comes to running, it isn't any good at all. Now, I might be trying to deliver a dot here, which might be dumb. I'm going to try, though. Darwin with the catch and the touchdown. Walter Darwin is a beast for us. That little guy always comes in and makes the plays when we need him. I'm going to guess that this is a run. They got me with the pass, but we almost got the pick. All right, we need a big stop here. I think we put him in a box. No way that drag got open. All right, third down. We sent a little blitz. They just threw the underneath, and we're stopping them. Thank goodness they're punting the ball to us. We're getting a stop on defense finally. All right, Mason Bean. It's time to roll out and deliver some dots. Y'all already know I love it. Nick Ojinovic with the hurdle. What a play. I knew the gravity didn't make any sense. His knee just drove right through the head of the FIU's player. That's a guaranteed concussion right there. But oh well, I'll take it. And I'm going to throw a dot to Bryce Oliver. He's wide open. Let's see. What are they giving us? The slant underneath. Adrian Nelson with the catch. Third and three. Can we deliver a dot? I'm throwing it to Walter Darwin. He holds on to it. He's a beast. He's honestly so underrated. Every time he comes in, he does something great for us. Unfortunately, we don't start with ball to start off the second half, but we're slowly working our way back into this game. I'm assuming they're going to try to pass it here. And that's good defense. You've got to pick that, Liam Demko. Third and seven right here. We just need a big stop. Good user. That's good defense. They're testing Trayvon Faulkner, and he's going to take that ball all day. That is what I like to see from my defense. Come on, Trayvon. I'm just glad our receivers decide to start holding on to the ball. Darwin with another catch. And here on third down, I think I'm going to hit Darwin again. I really like going five wide. I think it gives us a lot of versatility. Come on, Daquan Green. Hold on to that. And here on third down, I've been trying to stay away from it. But we're going to go with the four verticals. See what we can pull off. And come on, Darwin. You're going to need another catch. Dang it. That was just a bad offensive drive all around. Now we got to punt it back to them. All right, they're going with the run here. And no way they just split through everyone like that. I've got to say, defense has felt pretty funky in this game. No, that's a big run. Trayvon Faulkner missed. Oh my gosh, Travis Silva, bring him down. Here on third and 12, we're going to need a stop. Come on. No way. Pick it. Kenneth Webb drops it. But that's okay because they're forced to punt it back to us anyway. Here on first and 10, going with the read option. Let's go, Mason Bean. Ooh. I like the read. Mason Bean just died on that play right there. Tony Hines drops the pass. Of course he does. I honestly should have just redshirted him. I didn't know his drop issue would be this bad. Robert Burns is going to pick up the first down for us. They're pressing Tony Hines. Oh my gosh. Mason Bean, is that a good enough throw? How did the corner play that? I want you all to know I'm not blind. Look at this separation right here. That should definitely be a touchdown. Mason Bean just doesn't have the arm for it right now. Oh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. All we can do is come out and deliver dots to Tony Hines. I don't know how he seems to always be the one getting open, but we're moving this ball down the field on the counter to Robert Burns. Let's hurdle someone. All right, man-to-man -man coverage. Robert Burns has got to be faster. That's a good read from Mason Bean. First and 10 here, man-to-man -man coverage. Is that Jamari Brown? He just caught a touchdown. Also, we're not going to talk about how that was definitely a pick as well. I don't know how they didn't catch it, but I'll take it. We're tying the game up at 21. It is very important that our defense can come out and get a stop. Man-to-man -man coverage is not going to work on routes like that. All right. I sent a blitz. Come on. We've got to get a stop there. Third and three. They just throw it away. What was that? I guess the threat of a blitz got to them. I just came out in a normal defense. I have absolutely no clue how we're in this game, but I'll take it. Robert Burns with a solid run. Here on second and two, I'm just going to hit the flat, take a look at Daquan Green. And honestly, we have no reason to rush down the field. We might as well take our time, make the right reads. Here on third down, they are pressing Tony Hines and it worked out, but... They're giving up the nice route to Bryce Oliver. Come on, buddy. Oh, well, on third down, I'm throwing a dot to Jamari Brown. I don't know why he keeps coming onto the field, but he is not a bad wide receiver. Mason Bean getting a few yards here. All right, we need a play here. In the red zone, dot. I was just patient. I rolled out in the pocket and I delivered a dime to Tony Hines. I have got to give our defense credit for what an amazing second half they've had. Somehow we didn't get a tackle there. All right, what's open? Nothing. Never mind. 
The flat was open. I'm really hoping our defense can come out and lock up here. I'd be super frustrated if we gave up a touchdown now. What a run. I don't think I could stand to go into overtime against these guys. They literally have the most annoying offense. It feels like they've run the ball all game. That's good defense. That's defense. All right. Fourth and 11. Come on. Yeah, that's not a first down. That's game. This game came down to the final minute, but we just get to run the clock out and take our win against FIU. Mason Bean finished with 401 passing yards with four touchdowns. He honestly had an amazing game today and no receiver really stood out. Walter Darwin did catch two touchdowns though. And Travis Silva led the defense with seven tackles. Nick Young and Jeff Welsh both got a sack and Trayvon Faulkner had the lone interception. That was quite the win for the Norse right there. I'll definitely take it and the next game we play will be against Western Kentucky, our rivals. So that's going to be a good one. Make sure to hit that like button down below, and I will see you all in the next one.